Next up on Howler for an Hour, we have Timberborn. This is a little off genre for me. This is a city builder game that uh, involves beavers building their own city. It seems to be maybe a little post-apocalyptic. There's something in the, in the Steam store description that mentions the humans are gone, which is why they have advanced and are trying to build a society. This seemed really charming. I'm not normally one for city builders. I wouldn't say I'm terribly good at them, but this time I wanted to give one a shot. It's one of those rare times where I want to go out off my usual genre path to try something else different and new and interesting, because this honestly does seem very interesting and very furry for that matter. So let's check this out. But of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'll think about doing that as well. If you really want to help out though, come over to Twitch. I'm trying to reach partner, but I need more viewers to do it. So if you want to come by, whether it's to lurk or to talk, please consider it, because it really does help me out. We also have a pretty cool Discord server if you want to check that out. And I have a coffee link now if you want to help directly monetize my content. All links are in the description, so check them out if you're interested. Also, I must say, this music is lovely. Absolutely. To all who's watching this, Jewin USSSSSSSSSS also. Boof. Don't join the U.S., join us. <laughs> We're better. <laughs> um, <laughs> hot take! Um, also, I got a hype... I had a hype about Which one is this? Hold on a minute. It's apparently... Yes, please. I I'm down for it. Alright, so... <laughs> well, thank you, Ace. That's very kind of you. Let's go ahead and start up, though. Uh, so, what, let's see. We can choose our faction. Okay, there's factions. We got the folk tales. Easy going but hard working. Also, let me know if the volume's good. I think it is. Easy going but hard working. Fo folk, folk tales are expert farmers. They respect nature and it rewards them with plentiful bounties. Their motto comfort, food, and sturdy wood. And we could be the iron teeth. Defectors of traditional timber ways. They mastered iron and science to build advanced machinery. They achieved progress through ingenuity, efficiency, and disregard for the environment. Work hard, work hard, their motto. Uh, to unlock re aver reach average well of being of eight while playing folk tales. Okay. Oh, they have little voices. They're kind of quiet voices, but... <laughs> I Let me try turning them up a bit. I feel like I might like the voices in this game. So, uh, let's turn down the music to there. Turn that back up. There we go. That should balance it out. Uh, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Alright, Folk Tells it is. Uh, play is 256 by 256 recommended. Canyon, Diorama, Lakes, Meander, Round Range, Terraces, Thousand Islands, Dressing, Waterfalls. I'll do playing, sure. This game is still in early access, I should note, so it might still have bugs. It might. It's probably going to have more content later. Uh, normal. Am I good enough in these sort of games for Normal. <laughs> You are still learning and want to relax until you build experience. Your cell starts with abundant supply of resources. Beavers consume less food and water. Turns are running short. Yeah, I'll go and do it easy because I, I think I kind of know I'm not good enough at these games to probably play on normal. Look at this art, by the way. I love this art. I'm going to go on easy. I don't have an ego with this sort of genre. <laughs> I don't have a, oh, I'm good enough. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not very good at these games. So I'll go ahead and go play an easy for now. Plus, I kind of I kind of want a more uh, play playgroundish kind of experience. Just kind of see how this works. And plus, I think I could see more of the functions and features if I don't have struggle. Basically, <laughs> what'd you like to call your settlement? I don't know, chat. What would I like to call my settlement? I'll take suggestions for this. We're building a beaver city. What do you want to call it? My settlement. That's very boring of you. <laughs> That's very boring of you. City builders going wrong can be fun, but for a review, fair enough. Well, my purpose is to basically show off a fair bit of each game if I can for Halo for an hour. And if a bunch of disasters make it so I can barely build anything, then we won't really see much of the game. 
Uh, beaver topia? Gnaw wood. Oh, gnaw. Okay, you know what? That wins. Or maybe just one. Yeah, just one. Then again, he did subscribe. Call it Boof Tapia. PS 37 months too. I do like Chris's suggestion though. Nawood is a pretty good name. I like that. That sounds like a city and also sounds like a beaver city. I'm gonna call it Nawood. Um, okay, here's our beavers. How, how do we move this around? Oh. That, that is our, oh. There they are. I'm gonna pause, actually. Pause. Okay. There's a tutorial message that is hidden behind my scary, spooky head, but I will read it. Welcome! This tutorial will help you with all the basics of building a beaver settlement. Every new settlement needs logs. Only lumberjacks will cut trees. So place two lumberjack flags next to nearby trees. Okay. Ah, uh, so at the bottom of the screen here, I guess these are all flags. Before I do anything, I actually just want to analyze the interface. So what do we got? Well, we got clicky button here, which is probably just so I can use the mouse to click. Um, right click lets me look around, pan around, oh, look under, <laughs> early access, uh, I can look under the ground, but that's fine, I don't mind, it lets me look up close to things. The beavers are cute, I like them. Uh, it seems like when I let go of the camera pan, it resets itself to a particular perspective that I can still rotate. Let's look at, let's look at our landscape here. So we got a building. We got one building to start. We got kind of a dead area here uh, that we're kind of. I don't know why we built next on the edge of the dead area, but okay. We just got still got some good trees around. Oh, actually, it seems like this area is very dead in general. We have a few green areas around the river. Okay, it's like an old structure. Looks like an old. Ooh, that's metal, isn't it? So I think this game might be post-apocalyptic. Because, uh, again, like I mentioned, the Steam store description mentioned that humans are gone now. So this might be an old human building, probably. Looks like it's made of steel, so probably. Steel and concrete. So these, so, indeed, the maybe that's also why so much of the landscape is kind of dead. Uh, because, again, might be a little post-apocalyptic. But at least some of it's still thriving around the river. Which is appropriate, actually. That would be the part that would still thrive. All right, cool. We can probably improve the landscape, at least with this tribe. The other tribe seems to not care about the environment, but there doesn't seem to be a lot of environment to care about right now. So what do we got down here? We got markers down here, so we can... Oh, okay, so... Interesting. So... So I can hit... Oh, okay. So if I hit this button, cut trees, it makes the water go away for a second. I guess it's like a color filter or something. I wonder if I can reposition the camera, because... I don't mind this angle, but it's kind of high up. I kind of like it a little more like this. This would be a good angle. But it seems like the moment I let go of right click, it uh, snaps back to this. I wonder if there's a way to stop it from snapping. Well, I'll learn it a bit. So cut trees allows me to select mark tree cutting area. Use this tool to mark areas with trees be cut down, which we all want to do. We want to, well, well, we want to mark. Well, I guess I do want to mark trees. But I want to place a lumberjack flake, apparently. Ah, here it is. Employs a lumberjack that So wait, if the flake lets lumberjacks cut trees, then what is the cut trees option for? This seems like they do the same thing. Hmm. So I can mark and unmark a tree cutting area. I'm guessing they work together. What else we got? Plant crops. Carrot. Basic needs hunger, nutrition carrots, days to grow four, resource carrots three. Potato. Okay. They require a building farmhouse for all this. Wheat, all right. And, okay, clear. Planting, blueberries, birch trees, pine trees, maple trees. And this requires a forester building, okay. We can demolish buildings. We can assign priorities, let's see. Lo very low priority for construction demolition. Low priority, normal, high, and very high. Obviously, si assigning priorities to a job de determines which jobs get done first, I suppose, if you want to select multiple jobs but have them done in a certain order. Uh, paths and structures, we can just build some paths. Seems like that's free, actually. That's nice. Uh, district center requires four of a resource. What is that little icon? Let's see. We have several icons at the top bar. What's the match up to? 
not, I'm not entirely sure, actually. I guess I'll find out later. Employees builders, maybe that maybe it's maybe that's just population of some sort. Actually, let's look at our icons. So we have a science icon of zero. We have a materials icon of zero. We've got 300 food. We got zero logs and 250 water. Okay. We also have a three here. What is this? Well-being. Oh, here we go. Uh, so okay. They don't have shelter because I guess the one building doesn't count as shelter. Maybe I should see what that building actually does. Aesthetics: beaver statue, roof shrub, campfire, roof tea. Nutrition: carrots, grilled potatoes, and bread. Oh, they have to cook them. And then ah, labor monument, flame of progress, tribute to engineer. I'm guessing these are like things you can build that give a a bonus to your settlement. Fun carousel. We can build a carousel. I want to build a carousel. We have a books and a temple. Okay. Uh, that actually raises an interesting question. Though, what what is this building? District 1, District Center, establishes a district with its own population, resources, and an isolated path network. Employees, builders. We apparently have two or four workers assigned. What's that icon mean? Vacant. Oh, okay. So we have two workers currently. Transport goods between warehouses when idle. Oh, cool. So the buildings have things they do while they're idle, so you don't have to set them to do things. So we also built stairs, platforms, bridges. Interesting, so we can have layers. Metal platforms, suspension bridge, my goodness. All right, what else? Landscaping, we can build a dam. I mean, that makes sense. Blocks water but allows some to pass through a spillway at the top. Other buildings can be built on its top. Oh, a levee, blocks water completely. Floodgate, double floodgate, triple floodgate. Goodness me. Explosives factory. Why is this in the damn list? <laughs> okay. And dynamite. Well, actually, though, that does kind of make sense. You might have to blow open some land to build a dam proper, pro properly. Like, build a... Yeah. Um, storage. Log pile. Small warehouse. Large warehouse. And another red warehouse. Which apparently has a lot of capacity. What else we got? Labor. Hauling post. Haulers assist workers within a district in carrying goods. Greatly increasing their productivity. Okay, so haulers are augment are workers that augment normal workers, basically. Okay. Sounds good. That requires ten of that mysterious icon I can't place. What is that icon? It kind of looks like a... I don't know what it looks like. What does it look like to you guys? I know it's a little small, but... Oh, hi there, Rocky. I'm trying to figure out what resource that is right now. I don't have a corresponding icon on my HUD yet. Oh well, I'll figure it out eventually, I'm sure. Uh, let's see. Builders hide employees, additional builders, extended range of building paths. Okay. Distribution hut distributes goods to other districts. Okay, so the building we have in the center there is a district building. So I build more of those, I'll have more districts. Drop up point receives goods from other districts. Okay. And we got housing. Can build some houses. Well, once I have logs. Um. Inhabitants 3. Lodge mirrored. Okay. Many lodge. Inhabitants 1. Hmm. Double lodge. Hit 6. Triple lodge 9. What about water? Water pump. For drinking water. Water dump. For discharging it. Whatever purpose that serves. Uh, small water tank to store water. And other size tank for a lot more water. Irrigation tower to irrigate land around it. Probably good for farming. Obviously good for farming. Death marker measures the death of water. Oh, we have to measure the death of water? What for? <laughs> Interesting. Gatherer flag. Employees, gatherers who gather berries. Okay. Yeah. So we're getting into stuff. So I can gather berries. Oh, okay. So like I could send some out for that over like... Because I already see some berry bushes we could gather from. So there's a lot of berry bushes. Um, we, have a, we can make a farmhouse that can plant and harvest crops from that. Okay. Um, grilling potatoes, grist mill to make wheat into flour, and flour into bread with a bakery. Beehive, ooh. Boosts the growth of nearby crops. Fair enough. wonder if that also gives honey. So we, okay, let's go ahead and actually place the flag in one. So, and I need to place two lumberjack flags, okay. Um, alright. Okay. Um, how's this work? Structure size too far for the builders. Oh, okay. Um, alright then. So I have to place them close enough. 
I'll put one there. And that's weird. The builders can't just walk a little further. All right, fine. There. That'll do. So I placed two Lumdrick flags like I wanted. I'm going to look at the rest of the things, though. I like to just analyze everything in an RTS-style game before I actually get going on it. So we can also make a lumber mill to make planks from logs to build with, obviously. Forester to plant trees and bushes, probably dang important. Um, cannot enforce Oh, they apparently take science points. Oh, that's what that is! That icon is science points! Oh, that answers the... Wait, no, that's... No, no, 60 science points. 10 logs, 7 planks, and some icon. I don't know what that icon is at the top. Still trying to figure that one out. Um... Let's see. 120 HP gear workshop. That takes power. Manufactures gear. Oh, that's why we need the dams for power, probably. Manufactures gear from planks. Okay. Gears from planks. Oh, I guess wooden. I guess wooden gears. Yeah. Okay. Uh, paper mill to make explosives and books as well. Apparently, a printing press option. Then we got metalworking, which we can collect scrap metal from ruins. Ah, oh, that's what those buildings are for. So we can get scrap metal from. Uh, those places. Okay. And uh, we can also get a shredder. Which shreds scrap metal and compresses into blocks. Okay. Ah, uh, here's the power option. Water wheel! There it is! I was expecting a water wheel to show up. Okay. I'm starting to understand how this works now. Power wheel! Beaver operated backup source of power. Oh my god, it's a hamster wheel for beavers. We gotta build one of those. Uh, then some power shafts to transfer power, so basically our wiring. Ah, yes. High power shaft, which goes up. Seems like we're gonna have to work with verticality, too. Um, we can make a windmill as well. That's neat. Windmills are valuable. They require a lot of science, though. Which, we need to make an inventor. Okay. Oh, I can just, apparently I can just make this. That's weird, because I don't think we have oh, enough logs for that, but okay. An inventor generates science, though. That's good to know. And we got some leisure here. We can make a campfire. That's nice. A rooftop terrace. Oh, that's pretty sounding. A temple and a carousel. There's a carousel. Takes a lot of power, though. Decoration. Okay, this takes science, too, it looks like. Bench, shrub, roof... Roofs, apparently roofs are for aesthetic purposes only. I did not know this. Scarecrow. Beaver statue. A statue of a well-fed beaver. Well-fed, huh? Hmm. <laughs> I wonder how fat it is. Log fits, plank fits, metal fits, and monuments. Labor, flame progress. Okay, so that seems to be about all that. Now, let, just let me check one thing real fast before we actually begin to continue the tutorial. Uh... Verticality is indeed the big thing about this game. That makes me all the more interested to know how, um... Is there a way to disable the snapping? Where, like, if I reposition the camera, it'll snap back to this position. If there is indeed verticality, I would like to have a different angle. This angle is not necessarily the most conducive for ver verticality. I would like an angle more like this. Slightly a little bit lower. So if there's a way to adjust the angle of the camera without it snapping back to a particular position, that would be nice. Is there a way to disable snapping, perhaps? Hmm. Well, here's here's options for the camera. Camera dragging, edge scrolling, edge scrolling speed. Oh, edge scrolling. That could be useful. I don't really need it, though. Unlock camera, maybe? Let's see if that fixes it. Ah, there we go. There we go. Much better, much better. Okay. Now I can adjust it on my leisure and not have a snap back. Okay, cool. Alright, let me continue this tutorial then. So I placed the lumberjack flags. The flag will not be built unless they are in the district's building range. Oh yeah. Which is just it. I guess those are just barely in range. You can stand it by building paths. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. Build Lumberjack Flake, okay. If I did, though. Oh, they're outside of the... Oh, here. Let's see. Uh... Oh, right, they're not built yet, because I, I need to hit play. Alright, go build them. Okay. 
There you go. Oh, there's a direction these face. I didn't even realize that. Well, I guess those directions are fine. There's trees all around, so whatever. Unconnected building. Indeed. So... Well, it did say I could build out paths to extend the building range, right? So... Let's try that out. So, if I, like... Maybe build paths of these, I suppose that would do it. Kind of around the area. Let's see let's see if that one actually works or not. Did I extend the district's range? Well it did, yes. Actually it did quite a bit. Well that seems simple enough. Let's build some more paths. Yeah, that helps quite a bit. Okay. It's very simple, actually. Um, so why are these still disconnected? What do I have to do? This building is connected to the district center by paths. It isn't, huh? Okay. Uh, well, that's a bit unusual, given... Well, every bu Okay, hold on. Every building with an entrance must be connected... Oh, right, the direction. The arrow direction, that probably mattered, didn't it? So, if I can't connect it to the... Alright. So the tutorial did not t warn me about the direction I was placing these. I did not think about that. Uh, Alright, let's demolish then. I'll restart. I think these are free anyway, so whatever. They cost one fish. I don't know what that... I, I really don't know what that icon is, but I assume it's... Something that I... Have? What is that icon? What is that icon there? I really would like to know what that icon means. Because I'm going to have to demolish these now. Um, let's see, where's the demolish option? There it is. Boop. Okay. So this is fine. Um, can I demolish this bit? Yeah, there we go. Okay. I think the best thing to do is just to start by building a bunch of paths, so... That's exactly what I'm gonna do. There we go. Just trying to get these two lumber areas kind of separate from each other. Alright. If you remember, you need to build patches connected to the arrows on the buildings. Yes, now I know that. The tutorial did not tell me that, so I didn't actually notice there were even were arrows at first. Alright, so there they are. It's the reason I didn't see the arrows when I was building. Look, the arrows go into the trees, so I didn't actually see that. Let's see, I think I can... Yeah, there we go. So, there we go. Now I understand. So there we go. Now we're good. Okay. I still wonder what that... I'm really concerned that's a... What is that icon? Tell me. Workers. Oh, I can just mouse over it. Workers one. Oh, okay, okay. Basically, one worker needs to build that. Got it. Now I understand. All right, cool. So that, I didn't actually spend any resources on that. I didn't lose any resources, so. Okay. So anyways, now that they, now these... Do you see my point, by the way, that I'm not good at city builders? Immediately fucked up the first tutorial objective. There's just a lot to, there's a lot to process with city builders, and I tend to miss certain things. On the bright side, this hat didn't really penalize me whatsoever, so. We'll let them build their little things. There, now they're properly connected. Uh, and do, are some lumberjacks already going to work, or? They're very interested in the flag. Let's see what they're doing. Are they, uh, working? Kinda looks like they are. I think they're, I think they're doing their, I think they're doing something. Can't quite tell. They're just kind of hanging around. Uh, let's see. Workers. Yeah, there is one working right now. Nothing to do in range. Nothing to do in range? Hmm. Okay. Let's see here. Lumberjacks will not start working until you tell them what to do. Use the cut trees tool to mark an area of a kind. Oh, that's why there's two icons. So the flags are there to basically tell the workers, hey, go over here. 
stand by, and then I use the cut thing to actually tell them to start working. Okay. Okay, let's see here. So I can... So I can only... So you can only cut trees within the range of the lumberjack flake. So... That actually is quite a... Pretty much all of the trees here are in range. Actually, literally all the trees are in range. So that's... That's an insane range. Actually, almost all these trees are in range, too. We'll just work on this one for us for now. Um, okay. Uh, let's just mark... I mean, we'll, leave, we'll, we'll we'll cut down this whole forest, but we'll leave these two alone for now. So, let's, let's see. How do I mark trees for cutting? I select this. Select this. And I just kind of... There we go. There we go. Plus, that'll open up a path to, like, over here if I want to go this way. So, I see the verticality coming in play, though, with these mountains. I probably need to use stairs and stuff to get up them, probably. All right. So, that should mark them. That I didn't mean to mark that. That's not a tree, anyways. <laughs> okay. So, that should be... Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Flanders. All right, so now the trees are marked for cutting. Let's see how they. Let's see what happens. Do you guys, do you guys know what to do now? It's hard to tell if you do or not. Who's actually working here? Uh, no goods in stock. Lumberjack flag. It looks like they're working. I think. Oh, yep, there we go. Excellent. We have working, working. We have working, working. It's a little hard to tell if they were working on the trees. Oh, they're doing, like, a basic anime. I wonder if later on, when early... This is, leaves early access, if they'll have, like, proper... Proper, I'm gnawing at a tree animations. Because I, I really hope they do later. I mean, they're freaking beavers, after all. But yeah, it looks like they're they're working at it. All right, what's the next thing? Beavers need water to survive. Build a water pump to ensure a continuous source of drinking water. Okay. I mean, I guess right here would be fine, right? Let's build one right here. That looks good. One thing I think I would appreciate is if um. You know how if I click on the building, you see the arrow, right? You see, here's the, where the path needs to connect. That's logical. But you know what would be nice? It'd be nice if the building had a little indicator of that. Well, I guess it does connect to the doorway, to be fair. I, it'd be nice if these had a slightly more obvious indicator. Maybe a little bit of a... Maybe a little red strip on the building edge that lets me know, like, oh, yeah, that's where the path needs to go. Something like that would be nice to have. Okay, let's let them build that. Do we have a builder available? I don't know. We have four children and seven adults, so I assume we assume somebody can work on that. Waiting for materials. Ah, yes, we need 12 logs. How many logs do we currently have? Six. Well, they're going to start working on it without... Okay, so we're at, we don't have enough logs, but they can at least start working on it. That's good. All right. I like how the beavers actually have different, like, fur colors, like, a little bit different from each other. So they all kind of stand out as, uh, you know, they're not all just copy-paste. Okay, so we're basically going to just wait on logs. I think it looks like we're actually doing fine. How many logs does this have right now? Four, and we have six in storage. Yeah, we're getting... Honestly, the logs are being delivered at pretty much the same rate they're being cut down, so this works out. I wonder if, uh, so I guess, I guess I don't need any more paths. I think the lumberjacks can definitely go get all these trees. It'll just be a longer walk the further they go. Do you got a stockpile? Not yet. Well, I mean, here is a stockpile. These are stockpiles, apparently. Apparently they can hold 20 logs. Maybe I should build a proper stockpile while we do this. Let's see. How do we build this proper stockpile, actually? Uh, that was under... Oh, it's nighttime. Was there a stock? There was. Storage. Here it is. Log pile. Here we go. Let's build that. 
Right, uh, let's... Small warehouse can also be built. 15 logs, though. I'll just build a log pile for now. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, put that... Hmm. Well, there's enough room right here. I kind of want to put them between the two spots, but... I mean, I guess I could just put it right here. There we go. That seems convenient for both of them. Let's, oh, yeah, let's use, let's, let me use the priority flags, actually. Um, so this has a priority of squiggly, and this has a priority of squiggly. I don't know which one they're going to work on first, then. Also, Blink, I'm sorry that you're having problems, dude. I don't have a lot to comment on, but... Also, yes, fair, this is a beaver game. So that is ten logs. How many logs? Well, this is just a... This just needs somebody to run over and build it. It doesn't require logs. Despite using logs for the fencing. Eh, shrug. <laughs> oh, there we go. Somebody's... Don't know this. they taking a nap. They need to get... I need to get them homes. <laughs> Some are just, like, sleeping right where they were working. Alright. Fair enough. Let's advance time a bit. There are three fast-forward buttons here. So let's go long enough for them to wake back up. There we go. Obviously, I could speed up time anytime, but I'll do, I'll do half t double time. So they're building the water pump, and, they're, and that guy's building the log pile. Log pile will be useful. I wonder how many... It has a capacity of 180. Oh, yeah, that's plenty for now. Okay, cool. We got the water pump up, and they're going to start putting logs in there. Which I presume makes that more convenient. <laughs> I like how... Just one at a time. I like how... Wait, does this log pile... Can we see every individual log go in this log pile? That's kind of great, actually. Look at this. Look at... It's just every single one is placed. 180 logs can be stored there. I suppose we'll see each one appear there. Um, so the water pump's working, and it's gathering water right now. So we just got one unit of water. Yeah, that's just stirring one, one unit of water. One of our workers is on it right now. Obviously, we kind of need that a worker to work on that. Let's see. In addition to water, beavers also need food. This is true. Build a gatherer flag near some blueberry bushes, which is fortunately, I think, yeah, I built that in. Okay, you know what, actually, though? I'm going to extend the path a bit, because I would like to, uh, I'd like to be able to claim this whole list of berries. It would be good. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. So let's do a gatherer flag for berries. And let's put it right there. That structure size too Yeah, I know. That's fine. You know what? Let's do two. One there and... Well, that's a very small patch, actually. I guess just one is fine, right? Yeah, I think it's just one. They only wanted me to build one, so... Oh, there's, there's the guy going to work on it. Zojin, age 30. Oh, yeah, we can see individual stats for these boys. Nice. We can also change their names. <laughs> for the sake of time, I will, I will not worry about that yet, too. Gunnithin? Zozil? These names. These names are names. Vabul? Son Raja. Zashi. I like how the kids have. <laughs> the kids have higher pitched voices. That's good. <laughs> Seems there's a pre made dam down at the over the. Why are you cussing? But also, yes, you're right. There is a pre made dam. Barrier. A natural barrier blocking water. Can be demolished. I don't know why that's there. Perhaps we should remove it. It's not really doing me any good having that pit there. Or is it? Hmm. They're all marked homeless, yeah, because we don't have a house yet. Alright, the gatherer flag is built, so let's see. Um, build a farmhouse? To, okay, let's build a farmhouse. 
labor. No, not that. Uh, farmhouse. So, should I build it near the berry area, or? Hmm. I'm gonna guess I wanna build that around the good green grass and not over here. Probably would be better. So I'll build it right here, actually. I'm like thinking ahead a little bit. Yeah, right there is good. That gives a good range. If you do, I bet the land to the left will be green and fertile. Oh, you think if I unmark the dam, it'll... Oh, yeah, because water... Oh, oh! That's why, okay, yeah, the good point, because all the, all the, all the only ground that's fertile is wa ground near water. So we need to redirect water to have the ground become more fertile. So if I demolish this, there. So we want, we, okay, then I'm going to need to turn this into a bridge later, that's fine. Because that way I can get more of this land fertile. Actually, what does it take to build a bridge? Let's see. Uh, apparently I cannot make that yet. I need some science. I need to I need to be smart to know how to build a bridge, so. But at the very least, we can make the water flow this way, and we can see what this does to land. Bombs can be used to make holds in the ground. True. Another way to move water. That's, that's a slightly more chaotic way to move water, let's be honest. Oh, so their working hours is 16 hours. Apparently I can adjust that, but that might hurt their stamina or something. Probably not good to do that. I'm just going to keep them slightly faster. There we go. Double speed is good. Yeah, sorry. Whoa, okay. Hold on. Immediately see a problem with the gatherer flag. <laughs> Uh, we need to get a warehouse built, or they don't have anywhere to put that. Um, let's see. <laughs> the berry stock is already full, so I gotta fix that. That was really quick. I guess berry gathering is much faster than tree gathering, or tree collecting. Uh, warehouse. Yeah, we need a proper warehouse for this, so... I guess it'll be this will be our berry warehouse. Our, our bear house? I don't know. I'll put it, uh, I gotta consider the fact that I'm gonna open that land later. Let's put it, uh, I guess right next to the berry patch is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Seems convenient. All right, now they can work on that. Uh, I marked this for demol demolishing. Does that mean they can, do they have to have a bomb to break that maybe? I'm not sure. I also marked this for building. It's waiting for materials, fair enough. This looks like there's plenty of materials though. I guess they just have to walk it. All right, back on time. Don't think you're at the threshold of life to deal with villager happiness needs. Probably not. That tends to be later on in games, isn't it? Where you start being able to do leisure. Wow, we've already mined a lot of the forest. Mined a lot of the... We've already... felled a lot of the forest, I guess. Good to see there's still small trees around, though. Guessing those are being left alone until they grow. Okay, so they're going to build the farmhouse first, which is fine. But I also want them to build the warehouse, and I want them to demolish this thing. I could select the priority differently, but this seems fine for now. Oh, he's doing that. Let's see what this does when the water comes through. Yep, look at that! And all that land became fertile. Nice! I was wondering if it was going to be instantaneous, and apparently yes. And now they're going to build the warehouse. So yeah, we need to make the water move around so that we have livable land. All right, this is a bit of a bit of a walk for the warehouse, but once the warehouse is built, these berry bushes will be very easy to farm or gather from. I mean, 
I plan on building more than one warehouse. That seems like a good idea. Their food is going down worryingly, so I hope they work on that building quick. But we'll see. Probably gonna lay down for some sleep now, aren't they? It's advanced time. There are plenty of logs to build that warehouse with, at least. At least when they sleep, their berries, the, the food doesn't go down because they're sleeping. Alright, how's this going now? 8 of 15, okay. I'm just gonna wait. Twelve, thirteen. It's a bit of a walk. Fourteen. All right, last two are coming. There we go. It's done. Hooray! Now we can store. Oh. Does that only stock up to twenty of them because of the limits twenty on this? So I have to. I can actually select what the warehouse stores. Okay, so I probably, well, this is going to be my berry story, so I'll just drop this number. Actually, does, is desired important, or will they just stock regardless, I wonder? Let's set this to 10 and see if they continue to stock it or not. Because it currently has 10, so will they put more berries in even though it goes past 10? Or will they go ahead and, will they just stop? Because this is the berry warehouse. So I'll just put the berries if nothing else. Once this, once they fill this stockpile to twenty berries, will they put the berries into the storage or will they ignore it? That's what we're gonna find out. As soon as this guy's done. Okay, that's full. What are you gonna do now? Oh no, he. Yeah, okay. So does okay. So the desired count does not determine how many does not determine their hard cap. I desire ten of berries in this building, but they're okay of putting more in. All right, cool. Um, so I think I'll build another warehouse because we are doing fine on logs. We're gonna I'm gonna build a warehouse like right here, or right here. I'm not sure where actually. Let's see. Let's build. We should also build them houses probably. Let's do that first actually. Well, actually, I'm, I'm not sure. Let's see. Farmers will not start working. I mean, they seem to be fine sleeping outside, but. Farmers will not start working until they tell them what and where to plant. Plant crops till the market here fills. Okay. Can do. Let's see. Okay, well, I'm gonna. I don't know how big to make this, because I also wanna make other fields. Can I make all of them? Well, let's make a. Let's make a plot size of like. Crops need to be planted on irrigated land, otherwise they will dry out and eventually die. AKA green. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, you know what, actually? I think I have an idea. I'll make it across from the town center, and I'll do like... Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 11. Okay. It's 11 by 6 minus the buildings... Okay. Um, 11 by 6, 3. I guess that almost works for... Yeah, okay. I'll make... This area. Carrots. Yeah, I think that sounds good. Carrots. Potatoes. Wait. That should do. I know it's not a perfect plot size, but it, I think it works pretty well. Okay. So, that should do. And... Plant carrot 22 of 70. Oh, is that only... Oh, they want a lot more carrots than I just set up. Hold on, hold on. This is just a marking for playing out the area, so it's not too big a deal whether or not it's uh, perfect. 
All right, so well, um, so plant like this. So I don't know what the edge of uh, like is this land. It's like this land okay, where it still has some grass on it, or should I only go for the tiles with nothing but grass? I feel like I should go with the tiles with nothing but grass just to be safe, but I don't know. Don't want him to die out. That'd be bad. Actually, let's see. If I put some land here... Okay, it doesn't... So there's no indicator that this is bad land. Alright. I was wondering if it would tell me, maybe. Okay, well... Let's just assume the way I'm skirting it is fine. I'm only selecting the tiles that are completely green. So that should be okay. It's quite far away from the actual farmhouse. Let me let me replan this. Let me think about this for a second. So they want How many is that? That's 44. 60. They want a lot of carrots, but to be fair. There, that's exactly 70 carrots. Actually, that looks quite nice. That'll work. Um, okay. And then, because I, I do want to try out some other plants, I'm going to build a small crop size of Okay. Planted. Uh, well, all the buildings we placed up some storage to fill up quickly. Build a log pile to store logs. Yeah, apparently that, that'll do just fine for logs. Um, small warehouse to store berries and other resources. Yeah, I'm going to build another warehouse, actually. That's my berry That's my berry place, so I'm going to actually say, like, just dump, just dump it all there. This isn't for anything else. This is gonna the other storage closer to the farm that I'm gonna build. That's gonna be for food. As far as other resources, eh. I'll figure it out. <laughs> but let's see here. Um, we're gonna build another storage building right here. Eventually I'll build them houses, but utility over function. Utility over comfort, my friends. I'm sorry. Um yeah, I'll build a warehouse right. Right there is good. It's actually a very good spot for it, because I can build out different directions so okay hmm. yeah that'll be for whoops that'll oh well, I, can't, I can't select what it's gonna be for yet until it's built actually this might be a good time to start saying priorities it also wants me to build a small water tank that's fair oh yeah this is full up of water I didn't even think about that all right let's uh small water tank hmm. How much capacity? 30? That's not very much. Water is hard to store, though, so that kind of makes sense. Like, water is just... Water is that terribly useless... Like, you can you can easily... Like, if you're going on a backpacking tri trip, say, and you need to get a bunch of stuff together, a bunch of resources together, you pack in your bag, you can pack a lot of stuff into a small space. F for instance, food. You can get a very dense selection of food very easily. Because food... Well, food doesn't take up that much space, especially if it's a really dense food. But water! Water takes up so much goddamn space and weight. You know? These are kind of expensive. They take 15 logs each. Maybe I should only build two. Those also take 15 logs. Okay. I'm thinking. Let's do this. There we go. Just two of those. That's good. Okay. Now with that, I have two water tanks that will be useful. Oh yeah, they need uh, they need connections. Just thinking. I'm gonna build more tanks probably. So. Playing out the placement a bit.
There we go. Okay, so now let's actually use the priority tab. I'd like to build this, the water tanks first, because I'm kind of, the water situation is kind of stalled. So let's prioritize the, those with these red markers. Wait, does red marker mean higher priority or lower priority? It might mean lower, actually. Okay, higher priority. Because, yeah, those are up arrows, the green ones, so those must be higher priority. And then we'll just select this as normal. Yeah. Okay. Actually, no, I'll select that as one arrow. There we go. So that is, that is second highest priority. These have highest priority. Okay. And what about the fields? Let's see, how they, let's see what they do now. Also, apparently I'm supposed to build three small water tanks, but... Uh, that, that'll have to wait a minute. The tutorial doesn't really want me building them houses very quickly. The tutorial wants them to be homeless for right now, so whatever. I guess I should... What are you doing? Just set it at the doorway. Okay. Let's, uh, let's speed up time. Let's get these built a little faster. I'm hesitant to speed up time in, in these sort of games because I'm always worried that I'll speed it up too much and, like, something bad will happen, then I'll just fast-forward through the bad thing and not have time to react to it. <laughs> There's, why are they sleeping on the fields? I mean, I guess that might be kind of... Com soft, loamy soil might be comfortable. I don't know. Oh, look at them to go, though. They are indeed planted away. Look at them go. So I told them to build a decent amount of wheat, a decent amount of potatoes, and the game required 70 carrots, so I built 70 carrots. But I wanted to get a bit of a food variety going, so it seemed like a good idea. The logs are still being logged effectively, but we're kind of running out of trees. Um, that might be a problem later. Perhaps we should think about replanting. Okay. Just waiting for them to finish the storage. The warehouse, once it's built, I will pause. There it is. And I will tell them that I do not want berries in here. I do not want books. I do not want explosives. I do not want gears. I do not want blocks. I do not want paper. I do not want... Well, planks could be useful in that one, actually. Well, maybe. I do not want scrap metal. I want potatoes. I want wheat. And I want carrots. Definitely carrots. And bread can go. I just. This is the food one. Bread, flour, grilled potatoes. There we go. That should do fine. With all the hazards of post apocalyptic world, proper storage of goods is critical. Okay, the game said it in the lore. This actually is a post apocalyptic world, though, granted, I could kind of. I could kind of tell at this point, but. <laughs> Alright, so how's our berry storage doing? Oh, we got 47. And 20. Okay. So, alright. There we go. I need to build another water tank. Fortunately, I have enough I have enough wood to build another one, so let's do that. Quite honestly, it feels like we could just have 5 million water tanks, and that still wouldn't be enough water tanks, but... 3 is fine for now, I guess. Sure. I guess I'll have to log... I guess I'll have to extend a path over to log these trees, too. Unless I can replant. Let's see. Where is replant? Where's that option? I forget. Because so I still haven't even built them houses yet, so... I could build a grill. 25 logs to build a grill? Wouldn't that be a very flammable grill? Alright. Um, yeah, how do I replant? I know I saw that as an option, but I forget where it was. Ah, oh, here it is. Plant trees and bushes. Ah, that takes... Actually, what does that take? Uh... You need to unlock Forester. Ah, yes, that makes sense. How do I do that? Ah, oh, there it is. Forester. That takes 60 science. Okay, so basically, at the end of the day, to replant trees, I need to be sci I need to be sciency, Which I don't have any sci- I'm not very- I'm zero sciency right now, I think. If, I, if I'm- if I'm correct. Um, yeah, zero science. So I guess we're not rebuilding, I guess we're not reforesting anytime soon. We just have to deforest for now. Um, science equals progress, yeah. Um, let's see. 
Well, I guess I'll set up another... Actually, yeah, let me set up another... Um, Yeah, those flags don't quite reach. Actually, they kind of do. It's just a long walk. Let's build another one. This is free, so no reason not to, really. Um, hmm, I wonder if they would actually... If I built a bridge, I might even go for those trees. Uh, anyways. This would make life a little more convenient, I think. So, let's build a path there. Oh, I could also make a district center at any time. Technically for free. But I think one district is enough for now. There we go. Yeah, so we, we need science beavers. We do not currently have science beavers, sadly. And, uh, for the hell of it, another log pile. I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking ahead here because I'm thinking that I could probably get some bridge over here and then build some more yeah, log pile. It's, it's free, whatever. Uh, may as well build a log pile because it doesn't cost anything. But also, I feel like when I can go over here, this might be valuable. I assume, I assume, oh, that's what the dead trees are for. These dead trees. If I bring life to this part of the land. I bet these trees are proper trees at that point, and you can use them. So, if I could spread some water over here, I could I could open up all this for mine. Also, there's even a stair step right here. Wherever put this here, beavers are grateful, it says. <laughs> I like the little... There's a lot of cute little flavor text. By putting berries in a basket, beavers accidentally came up with a tasty dessert. Raw carrots help beavers balance their diet without giving up on the joy of crunching. <laughs> Agriculture became one of the pillars on which the beaver society stands today. Don't forget the sun in the cloudless sky as we walk on fields of gold. Beaver ballad. Oh. There's more than one way to cook a potato. Beaver proverb. I appreciate the I appreciate the flavor text. Learning how to save every drop of water helped beavers adapt to the harsh environment. <laughs> A gulp of fresh water is enough to pump you up. Even the paths have a flavor text. Country roads take me home to the lodge I belong. Oh, popular beaver song. Oh my god, that fucking reference. <laughs> Comfort food and stinner wood. Yeah, we read that one. I'm just gonna have to examine things now. It's, I'm amused. Oh, mighty forest, how I pine for thee! Unknown beaver poet. <laughs> That's cute. You'll, you'll come asking for more of these when the drought hits. Magon... Mag... Managil... Nangonil? Name. <laughs> Birch. Remember, kits, do not peel too much bark off. It harms the tree. Managil. I guess it's like some sort of caretaker. Actually, what is there to be said about the ruined buildings? Scattered throughout the land, decrepit human ruins provide beavers with the unimaginable, a resource superior to wood. Okay. That's a logical, uh, that's, that, that is logical. How's about trigger? The other reason I don't cover these games a lot is that they don't do too well usually in an hour format, so I'll probably go a little longer. Exactly. Alright, I built the small water tank three. What do they want next? Homes increase the beaver's well-being allow your folk, 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 folk tales population to grow. Build enough beavers to house, lodge and house all your beavers. Fair enough. Beavers will not reproduce unless there are empty slots for kits. Ooh, th then we better hurry on that, otherwise they might die off. Let's build what we can. We do have 30 logs currently. We're really running out of trees over here, but... Well, I can still mine the rest, rest of those. What's this? What's going on here? This building isn't connected. Whoops. That's that's true. It isn't. There, now it is. Okay, so. Let's build some houses before they have problems. Lodge. I wonder what lodge, lodge, mirrored means. Let's see. 
Oh, I see. Lodge mirrored means doors on the other side. Yeah. Okay. Let's build some houses. I feel like I feel like this will be the houses. House street. House street here. So let's see. We have a total of how many beavers right now? Uh, Eleven. And these house three. So if we want to at least house what we have, we need a total of four of these. And each one costs twelve wood. This is going to be expensive. But if I build a fourth one, then we can actually reproduce. I'll start with three. No, I'll, play. I'll make four. Actually, yeah, that looks kind of stupid. Hold on. Oh, I'm going to waste resources if I... I was going to place them like, hey, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to have it like that. <laughs> There's already some resources placed on some of these because they were efficient. I don't want to waste the logs, so... I'll, I'll go with it. Lodge zero of six. Oh, they want me to build six? Holy shit. The tutorial expects me to have a lot more wood than I actually do, I notice. Granted, I was building a couple extra things, but still. All right, six then. Or be patient. Well, I'm just, I think I'm running out of wood entirely though, like. Well, I mean, I, I have this new logging camp. This should this sh th this group of trees should make it work. But if I was relying on just this group of trees, I think I'd run out. All right, let's speed up time. What is your issue? Building is full. That's fine. Then just fill up the other ones. See, that's why I built extra. That's why I need the extra water tanks. Though. They're just gonna fill up. I guess that's fine though. They can just fill up, I suppose. Chop down everything. It kind of, it kind of needs to be that way now. Or soon. Also, we're right out of berries, but that's fine. They can go get for these berries too. I think. Yeah, they can reach those. Um. Is there somebody? Somebody was. Oh, yep. They're going right through the. Well, I guess this is not built yet. This looks a little weird, but fair enough. If that's a shorter path, I suppose that's fine. I appreciate they don't have to use the paths, they just need the paths. But they can go, they can just take the shortest route, which is a, I appreciate that. <laughs> well, who's, who's gonna be the lucky beavers to sleep in a house tonight? Those ones, apparently. It's like musical chairs. Sorry guys, you weren't fast enough, they already went inside. You're sleeping outside now. Sorry. Sorry, sorry there, Z Zonraja who is snoring. That's adorable, actually. Yeah, the time you run out of berry, you should have your food drone. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I think it's already doing... Growth progress 38, growth progress 23, growth progress 43. Uh, yeah, it looks like... We have a good food stock, too, so it should be fine. Even once we run out of berries, um, the food stock should last long enough for all this to grow. Plus, I got the extra potatoes and stuff, which I think potato and wheat isn't immediately edible. I gotta do things to make them edible. On that note, once I build all the houses, I think I'll try to make a grill. Because that lets you cook the potatoes. Which, obviously, that, that sounds important. Where should I put the grill? How big is the grill? That is a big fucking... I didn't realize they meant an entire building. I guess I could put it right here, though. That seems fine. It's a... <laughs> I guess that's why it requires wood. Because they had to build... Couldn't they just do an outside barbecue? That would be a little more efficient. But, you know, whatever. What are you doing? Just waiting for things to grow, I guess. <laughs> it appears that carrots grow the fastest. Well, we're not out of logs yet, so I guess these buildings will... Yep, there's another one. Okay, cool. It looks like it's working out. I did build another little logging cap here, so... <clears throat> they will most likely work on this once they run out of trees over here. Hopefully the small ones will grow up into more trees. I assume they will. But I guess there's nothing to do but wait now. 
Well, if I could obviously skip what the tutorial. I'm kind of doing. If you notice, I'm kind of both following the tutorial, but also, like, I also want to build this, so I'm going to build this. I will say this, though. This is a pleasant game. I enjoy this. <clears throat> I'm slow at making progress in these sort of games, but this is nice. It has nice music, it has nice beavers. This is a nice experience. I'm glad I'm playing easy. I'm guessing normal would... I could pro I'd probably still be fine on normal, but things would be a bit tighter, probably. I need I need them to breed. <laughs> that much I could say. More workers would probably make this a little faster. Actually, can I... Yeah, you can only assign one worker per flag, but I could make more flags to assign more workers if I... Yeah. Alright, we have six lodges. Now what? Science points are used to unlock more advanced buildings. An inventor will produce science points over time. Build inventor. Oh, is that all there is to it? Just build an inventor and they'll produce science points? Okay. <laughs> okay. What is this little building? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna put the, I'll put the grill there. So the inventor... I guess the inventor building isn't really dependent on other buildings, so I can kind of place it wherever. Um, let's see. I don't really have a spot in mind, I guess, but I suppose I'll just put it here. Yeah, nothing wrong with just putting it here, I guess. So I, if, if they produce science points over time, I probably should have built this building kind of earlier. So it's just, hey, what does that guy do? He just makes inventions happen. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> he just makes us smarter. I wonder how fast they produce science points, though. I guess we'll have to see. Fortunately, they should be able to breed and make more kid kids and stuff to have more laborers later on. So, because we have uh, <clears throat> we have we have enough room for 18, 18 houses. This is eighteen houses worth of beavers. So. So they should pro- yeah, they already- they made a kid. Cool. One kid generated. Is this a god game? No, I don't- I don't believe so. See, I knew this was gonna happen. The water tanks are all full. You know what, I'm just gonna let it be though, because that's probably enough water, right? We can probably just let it be full and that's cool. It'd be nice if the worker, if he had nothing else to do, would go and leave the building and do something else though. All right, well, so we have the invention building up. So how, how fast is it producing inventions? I see. That's that's a reasonable speed. I'm kind of tempted to build two, but I suppose that's enough. Okay, important question then, now that I have that. Uh, what does it take to... Oh, building is full? Really? Huh. Solid. Other buildings can be built on top. Wait, wait, hold on. Neat. Wait, how do I... Will that... Will that, uh... Will that work? <laughs> Does that... <laughs> Would that make it a bigger building? I'm actually not sure. I'm gonna guess I would need... Oh, you know what? Actually, no, I'm, just, I'm really dumb. I just realized. Uh, how do I remove this? <laughs> Yes. There we go. Um, wait, would I need to then, um... <clears throat> I have a hunch, but I'm not sure. Also, I guess if this is completely full, they should go ahead and... Oh, I guess we got berries for a while. Um, to be fair, berries isn't really a resource that I'm de I desperately need them to stock more of. But, what I do need... Um, can I, can I do this and then, I don't know, actually. I'm suddenly wondering if, oh yes, you can. You can build between two. Hmm. So like, I'm just like, I'm like pondering to myself right now, like, oh, that's why there's, okay. 
a centralization. So if I were to build a storage building on top of a storage building, there is no way to make this setup work because I'd have to build stairs in front of the doorway, but that would block the other doorway, right? So this setup would not work. But if I did this, built a path behind it and built some stairs, that setup would work, I think. Mm -hmm. I think that's correct. Alternatively, if I had not set the building next to the path, I could have done a little bit more of it. You could make a platform floor in front of before the door, but there's not enough space for that here. Because I built things too tight. Like, how would I make the path work if, uh, if there's a ledge here, you know? To reach the doorway. I suddenly realize why the buildings are mirrored now. This makes you make from other side not direct. Oh, like uh, like if I built this on top like this, then I could like over here I could build like a stair step and then have it go like over here, and there'd be like an underpass I guess where they can go under or over. Interesting. I guess that would work. Let's do it. I want I want to see how this works. How many, actually, wait, how many science points does this require, this, this path stuff? Uh, let's see, what, what category is that under? Here it is. Stairs. Now science points can unlock. 70, oh my god, this is expensive. Uh, well, stairs cost 70, platform costs 100. I would need 170 science points to do any of that. That's a lot of points. But I do need both of those. All right. All right, short term speak and speaking of short term here, let's build more science. Let us have more science. Uh I think that is I think that's what we need right now. Let's just let's that let's just produce more science. There. Build a water wheel. I, uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, I can build that, actually. Should be placed in water or on riverbank? Build a water wheel it's to the shore. It's rain time. It's dependent on waterfalls, so it'll stop producing energy when there's no water. Okay. See you later, Creighton. Well, I guess I may as well produce some power. Let's see. Uh... I want to. Oh, I see. I see what's suggesting. If I were to build it, like, no, I can't. I can't actually use this land. This terrain does not. I cannot use this terrain to build both directions. That's okay. Uh, where would it be best to place it then? I have to think about power conduit. I assume they go underground. I assume the power conduits are something that go underground. Or, in other words, I could put them underneath things, probably. Hopefully. Hmm. I guess I'll just build it right here. Or here. I doubt that lull. Let's see. Ah, fuck. <laughs> You're absolutely right. But granted, I'm guessing, guessing platforms will benefit me there as well. Okay, I gotta really think about this then. Actually, I'm gonna... Hmm. Yeah, they can't go across paths, but... High power shaft. Okay, anything involving elevation requires science points, but... That is a good idea, and I think I can make that work, so whatever. Um, this will definitely have to really consider verticality, which the tutorial did not allow me to do. It probably should have indicated. It probably should have said something along the lines of, "Make sure to space out your buildings. Make sure to leave space for, you know, things like stairs, etc." That would have been nice if it said something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and yeah. This will look weird, but I'm gonna park this. 
don't know. I guess here's fine. I, I'm, I'll, I'll think about the pyro conduits later. I, I, I clearly need elevation for that as well. I think the main problem is like some very basic science resource things that seem very important for building cost a lot of science points, so I kind of have to wait around for that, I guess. All right, that that should be fine. So if I were to complain about something, it would be, why does it like simple elevation tools cost so much science points? That seems a little silly. Cause those seem very integral to proper construction. So like just the basic ones should be kind of cheaper in my opinion. Yeah, the more expensive or complex ones let you do interesting things. Yeah, go ahead and make those expensive. But anyways, three construct, three inventor buildings should make this a little faster. Though only two of them are employed currently. Great. Um, I Maybe mean, I can mess with that. What is the employment looking like? Well, there's another kid. They'll, they can grow up to become an inventor. Your viewers are happy to ever. You reach a new well-being high score. Five. Hooray. Because they're happy because they have carrots. <laughs> um, let's see. Which actually are grown now. In spite of the legacy of old Casco, Beaver inventors are always eager to improve their timber tech. I just hope the logs hold out. So I'm going to need to... Yeah. Well, at least we're producing a little bit more science. But this is still ridiculously expensive. Because keep in mind, I need to build... Stairs, platform, and also, if I want this energy to actually do something useful, that I also... Oh, oh my god, those take 50 logs. Okay. If I want the uh, water build to actually be useful, I also need to have the high power shaft, which is another 80. Well, that also takes planks and gears. Oh, I have to build some other stuff to get there then. Let's see. Planks and gears. That would take... Uh, well, planks would require the... What building is it? Planks would require the... Oh yeah, gear workshop for gears. That's 100 science itself. And the planks would require... What? What what makes planks? I forgot. <laughs> oh yeah, the lumber mill, which I can make, but that's another hundred science for the gear. My goodness, this is getting expensive. I guess I should make the plumber will at some point. <laughs> How's our foresting doing? Eh, it's getting kind of a little bit limited. Lots going into the water will. Which is almost done. Alright, let's start on the lumber bill. <laughs> I clearly will need that as well, so. Um, okay. Oh, there it is. Spinning away. I guess let's place the lumber bill right here. It's a good enough spot for it. Okay. What happens if you build on top of farms? You probably destroy them. Oh, they got the they got the uh, they got the potatoes. So we could build the grill now as well. Yeah, hell of it. Let's do it. Actually, let's do the tutorial once next. I built the water wheel. Oh yes, they wanted me to build the lumber mill. Oh, there we go. All right, there's a the lumber mill. Let's, oh, we gotta power the lumber mill. Yes. Right. Okay. So. <laughs> right. Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. So, what... Where's its connection point, exactly? Like, what What part... Many, many buildings can pass energy to one another when placed in the wall to wall. Okay. I'm gonna have to cut this through the... Can beavers go around the power shafts, I wonder? Like, can they walk past them, or will this block them? Hmm. The hell? Oh, 
Tell it's give me the lineup, okay. I mean, Z-Lab plus one on top of farms. I don't think you can build on top of farms. They have a pointy roof. Hmm. The another, another annoying thing is, well, I guess they are already cut down. It doesn't really matter. All right. Um, I guess you can just do this however, so. Well, I guess we'll see if this blocks the beaver's path aid or not. I dislike these power lines. I would like to build them up, but I really can't. Well, I guess it doesn't really block them. They can go this way. That's fine. Yeah, power seems kind of annoying to work with, but we'll see how this goes. Oh, bugger, each one of these takes a log, too. <laughs> we are, we, everything takes so many logs. <laughs> How much power does this take? 50 HP of power. This take, this produces 180 HP, so that leaves us for a fair bit. The good news is we have more beavers. <laughs> Technically, if a couple more. I wonder how long they. I wonder how be long beavers last before they die of old age or whatever. Yeah, the water world doesn't. I was wondering if it cared about flow direction. Fortunately, it does not. I do like how it is actually worked with the flow direction, though. Yeah, I'm gonna see. I'm really curious if beavers can walk through this or not. Probably not, but they're really, they're using it while they can, though. <coughs> so this is just kinetic power, isn't it? We're just using kinetic power here. All right, cool. Yeah, they have to walk around now, but that's fine. Um, let's see. No unemployed beavers in district. Ah. It's because we have somebody in the alliance. No, we don't actually. No unemployed beavers in district. Well, okay. We need a stable source of logs. Unlock the forest room. Use build it near a place you want trees. If you want to plant trees. Uh Dude, that cost actually I do have enough science for that. I was gonna build a fucking platform, but sure. I do need trees, to be fair. Uh yes, unlock. Okay. That takes seven planks. Do we even have any planks? <laughs> Not yet. We haven't had anybody working on this yet, so... And that costs even more logs. Oh boy. At least they haven't... They have that forest to work with. Whatever. Um, okay, I need to employ somebody. Hold on. How do I do that? How do I change the beaver's jobs? Uh, <clears throat> you. Yeah, you're too young. Never mind. Okay, you're working at that. Uh... You. Yeah, wait, no, I need lumberjacks. Who the fuck is work? Farmer! No. How many farmers do I have working? I have two farmers working. Alright. You are gonna work on... Um... Life expensity plus 30% because I fed them carrots. Nice. Oh, bread ca increases carrying speed. Grilled potatoes increases strength. Shelter increases life expectancy and walking speed. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to take one of the farmhouse workers because we're good on food right now. I'm going to take him. I'm going to make him work at... What the... Oh. Uh, there? No. I want to un I want to re-employ you. How do I do this? I, I actually don't know. <laughs> The tutorial has not told me how to re-employ the beavers. Uh, 
What are you doing? Work at the district center. I. What does that mean? Hold on. Oh, wait, I need to... I need to cancel one of them from the center. Okay. What does this actually do? Transfer goods between warehouses and aisle. Oh. Yeah, I could just have one on doing, th doing that duty. That sounds less, not important. Uh, one less worker. Okay, now Zoljin is free. Wherever they are. Um... Well, okay, so now I should be able to employ them at the lumber mill. Or not. No unemployed beavers in district. Well, where'd they go? <laughs> I just unemployed them. They should now be unemployed and available. Where'd they go? <laughs> hmm. Oh, they went to the science building. They went right to the science building. They're like, I'm unemployed. I'm going to do science. <laughs> Oh, God damn it! they went right to the- wait, I can't unemploy them. Stop. Stop, don't be an inventor. They me immediately went to be an inventor the moment I- the moment I fired them. <laughs> now I can't- I can't get them out of there. Uh... <laughs> like, fuck this, I'm gonna pursue my dream job! It's like, no, no, come back, I have another thing for you to <laughs> do. Um... How do I- how do I... N okay, fine. I'll, I'll fire a worker on the farm then. Whatever. What? Oh. That's time a little bit. So they unfire. So they stop. I think I gotta wait for them to deliver a good first. Okay, there. Now! Thank you for... Okay, I don't like them automatically... So if you don't have enough workers for a building, you can't fire the worker. You can't just make the building derelict or... For the moment empty so they immediately reassign which i don't like because they immediately reassigned to this extra inventor building and i didn't want them to right now you know um whatever it's good now we got a, we got a lumber mill worker finally freaking I, I think maybe there's a page where you can properly assign the beavers but i don't know where that is so So anyways, they want me to build the forester, but it's like, yeah, that's nice. I need log. I need planks first. Fortunately, planks are being worked on, I think? Got some carrots and potatoes stored here. I gotta make sure to make a grill at some point so those potatoes can come into good use. But I agree, we need some- we need to build some trees. Alright, there's one plank in storage. At the start. Oh yeah, we can see it right here. Oh, oh cool, this actually... I didn't actually notice that this extends down and shows everything. That's nice. Look at these drop-downs, it's very good. So, we have... Why are those in... Oh, okay, I see. So, one plank so far, but we need... Uh, we need seven planks before I can build this building. I guess I can start its construction, I suppose. Uh, let's see, what area does it affect? Okay. I guess I'll just kind of, yeah. Spill it right here. Yeah, seems fine. Gotta build it off of this and get it working, I suppose. Yeah, the further I go that way, the more land it effect effectively helps, so. There it is. That will do. It has a cool little tree ladder thing. Or just a ladder, I suppose. I don't know why I called it a tree ladder, but it's not even on a tree, it's on a balcony? Watchtower! That's what I was starting to think of. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have that set up. Oh, yeah, we have 15. One, two, three. Okay. We don't have full capacity. Oh, 16. Or I'm going to have to think about new houses, too, but first, how's our science doing? Can I unlock anything else useful to me? Yes, I can finally unlock. No, I can't. I can't unlock stairs. They're too expensive. <laughs> I need stairs and platform, and I also need, to a lesser degree, I need um, high power shaft, but I need stairs and platform. I have a plan for the city construction, but... 
I need platforms. <laughs> I, the housing situation, I've got to figure it out for a space, I mean. But, yeah. Well, I guess in the meantime, I'll wait for the Forester building to be built, and also wait for, what is that icon? Yes? Nothing to do in range. What? Why not? What does that mean? There's literally trees behind you. What is the issue? <laughs> Nothing to do in range. You could cut those trees down. That's curious. Why would they cut these trees down? He's even standing there like, I have nothing to do. Did you mark those trees? I didn't mark those trees! <laughs> I forgot about the second step! Good point. There you go. <laughs> Get to work! I need logs! Alright, there we go. Oh, I missed a tree. Let me just... There. I'm surprised that warehouse filled up with berries so fast. I'm gonna need more warehouses too. Another reason I need the platforms though, which I mean we'll get there. I have enough to unlock stairs, holy shit. Okay, I can finally see how stairs work. Let's see. So yeah, you can't build them on paths. I didn't think so. I'm gonna have to get a bit clever then. But again, I need the platforms as well, or this won't I won't be able to do anything. Um I have, I, have a, I have a very smart idea, but nothing works until I have platforms as well. So, until then, I'm kind of stalled. You have a good lock stock building up. At least for the moment. Ah, Forester building's built. Let's see, what does this do then? Bold and beautiful, Foresters are the core of Beaver society. Okay. Get out plant trees. Choose to plant trees and bushes tools and plant some pines. I also plant blueberries for Actually what is what is the value of each of these? Pines take longer to grow than birches, but I assume they're more valuable. And I can also Whoa, maples take forever and take a lot of logs to build. I wonder what the value of a maple is. Well, we'll build the the pines regardless. Okay. So uh, I'm just gonna mark this area uh, for um. Wait, how far? How far can you go? Uh, all right. Um. No, I don't. No, no, no. I don't want underwater trees. Those aren't very useful. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> That's not what I was trying to do. There we go. Oh goodness. Okay. What is the range of this tower actually? Oh, okay. To there. Be nice to see the range while I'm trying to select trees. Alright, there we go. There we go. That's some work right there. Alright. I'll advance time, and the tutorial says your cinema is now self sufficient as long as water keeps flowing. Consider building a dam or placing more water tanks to help your beaver survive the droughts. Oh, okay, fair enough. The tutorial will show you the basics, but there's much more you can discover your own. Good luck. Oh, cool. All right, fair enough. So basically, the tutorial took me to self-sufficiency. I see. I see. I'm gonna go a little longer. I be I did beat the tutorial. That was my main goal for this howler. But I'm gonna go a little bit longer because I was working towards a goal, and I'd like to see it through. I'd like to see my plan through. Uh, we need more planks, apparently. Oh, wait, we are indeed producing planks. How do I? 
Hmm. I hope we don't have too, too many. I hope we don't overproduce planks. I guess that means I should always consider building something. But, uh. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna twiddle my thumbs until I hit 100 science. <laughs> This is actually pretty enjoyable. I don't, again, I'm not big on city builders, but this this has a nice, this has a nice vibe. I like this lonely, boring warehouse just stuck with a bunch of berries. This is our emergency food stores over here. It's going to be completely abandoned until we actually need it. If we ever need it. <laughs> That's fine. It doesn't need to do anything. It just needs it. Building lacks materials, yeah? Ah. I see. Can I, can I tell it to stop? Can I, can I tell the lumber mill, hey, I don't want any more planks? Oh, yeah, I can pause the building. Yeah, I got 13 planks. That's good for now. Wait, three days? Wait, whoa, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? What's this flashing? Oh, forecast, drought incoming, 2.9 days. Oh, we're fine. We've got a lot of food stored up. And I think we have enough water stored up. I could probably build another, you know, let's build another, just to be on the safe side. Another, another water tank. With a lot of sites, I could build a bigger water tank, but I don't have enough. Um, yeah, that'd probably be fine. Two more water tank. Mark them as high priority. High priority. There. Go for it. Get those water tanks filled. We need water. <laughs> they take a lot of logs, but I kind of need them, so... Or at least, I think I do. I think I've got enough water stored up for this drought, but I don't really know. So the drought is, like, the main threat, I guess, of the game, I suppose. Oh, yeah, I need some paths built, or they're going to be kind of useless. There we go. Oh, I have enough science, by the way. Let's... Hey, we've learned how to build platforms. Hell yeah. What do these take? They take planks. Okay, I figured as much. How many planks we got? Fifteen. That's not many. All right. Let's. Oops. That's not what I meant. To, did not mean to do that. Hold on. Okay. There we go. Um. Let's see. So I guess I should tell the lumber mill to go back to work. We have trees planting. That's good. And, uh, right, so now I can enact my master plan. Let's see how these platforms work. Yes, they do build like that. Okay, good. That's what I was hoping. Okay, so now that I have platforms, things are slightly better now. Um, did you have to build houses, flat roofs, but not flat Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Flat tops of buildings also work as platforms. Yeah, I figured as much, but, uh, I have a masterful plan. I need to... I just realized something, actually. But, um, let's see. I gotta make sure I do this in the fewest number of platforms possible, though, because it is actually expensive. So... I guess the cheapest process would be... that you see I want I need another storage because this is starting to fill up it's actually almost full so there that should function just fine also this platform also can be used to build some stuff up here if I want to oh actually wait Ooh, that would cost one more, but that might be smart. Um, be able to use the platforms that give extended top level building freedom. Like if you want something to be off center. No, actually, I got a better idea. 
Um, oh, goodness me. That would require a lot of... That would look really cool, though. Um, okay, hold on. Sorry, I'm pondering. I wish these weren't so expensive, but it's fine. I got logs coming. I'm going to place that... Yeah, hell with it. I want I want to see what this looks like. Plus, this is just building plants. I don't need to immediately construct them. Let's see. So I could build around, but actually, you know what? No, this would be it'd be more efficient too. I guess I could build around. I mean. Nothing really stopping me. Basically, though. You know what? That might actually be efficient. I have a thought. The doors alternate because of... I, I personally chose them to alternate. Yeah, this is how I'm gonna. Ex this is this was my idea as to how I'm going to extend the housing, basically. This is a very expensive plan, but it, it also would probably be pretty cool. Now, now stairs could have worked though, but you still have to make a platform in front of the doorway. I prefer this. This looks nice. This looks kind of neat. It's like, uh, it's like apartment housing. You know, multi-floors. Also, I, I, we're gonna go just a little longer. We're about to hit a drought. I want to see what the drought does. Also, uh, there is one more thing I wanted to unlock, but I might... Well, let's see if I reach it. But, uh, the high power shaft. <laughs> Uppies is hard to learn, but yeah, up, uppies for the high power shaft, so I can go over, it lets me go over paths if I do that, so. Which I actually want to immediately put one, like, right here, critically, so I can, so the beavers don't have to do this, the beavers, if the beavers want to go over here, what they have to do right now is go whoop, 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 and then go back here, and then whoop, 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 I, I need a bridge, I need a way here, also, speaking of bridges, actually. That just reminded me. Um, we have all these resources over here we can take advantage of. I just need to... Um, all I need to do is... Well, this 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 is fine if I demolish this for a minute. It's not really going to interrupt too much. Uh, what we're going to do... Oh, I need to... Hmm. Oh, I need to excavate, technically, right? That's going to take something else. Basically, it'd be nice if I could move the water over here, so that all these foresty areas would be nice and healthy again. That's a ton more trees to access if we do that. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I should also make a grill. I kind of forgot about that too. Let's make the grill first, actually. <laughs> there. I'll just make. Th we'll just make things as we make them. <laughs> Careful about verticality on water. Well, I just want to. Can I build a bride? <laughs> can you build a bride? Yeah, you can build a bridge. Um, the platforms work as bridges as well. Like if I uh, if I go to paths and structures, this can be placed in the water. See, so I can make a bridge like that. So all I need to do is figure out how do I make the ground go away. <laughs> I could build a dam. It is possible to build a proper dam, but I don't. I I have to admit I don't think I'm smart enough for that. Like, on a personal level, to build a proper dam to irrigate the water upwards in this way. I don't think I understand how that works. Um, so... Apparently I can build a rooftop terrace now. Huh. Ooh, look at that! That looks nice. 
I'm gonna build it on top of the warehouse. No, actually, that warehouse is gonna be a multiplex warehouse after a bit, so probably not there. But I could build. A, I could build on top of the. Hmm. Thinking. Hey, why don't we build it out here? The rooftop terrace right up here. This little. This little place to go out in the outside of the outskirts of town for a chill uh, chill time. I don't know. Could also build a campfire. Should probably let some relax as well. Well being. Um, let's see though. Um, build bombs to get the ground. Oh wait, yeah, bombs. Right. Which which one was bombs? I had uh, it was wood to paper mill to create. I think it was paper, right? You had to do paper and then you could do something else. I think. I think they said paper is the thing that turns into bombs. Let's see. Plant trees and bushes, plant crops, plant, uh, landscaping, right. Uh, hmm. Explosives factory, manufactures explosives from paper. 400 science. The paper mill itself takes like 200 science. So I'm a ways off from doing terraforming. Seems like a late game thing. And the look at the look at this mess of like just random little things because there's not enough planks yet. I assume. How's the slumber bill doing? That's yeah, working away. How's this starting to fill up? Good. All right. So there's really not a whole lot else to do besides just let things build. I mean, as they said, this is wait. What do you mean? Now connected building. This building isn't connected to any district center by paths. Oh, yeah, it isn't. <laughs> I, was, I just realized, oh, yeah. Wait, that's not actually true. This path goes all the way over here. Oh, wait, but that's not built yet. Right. All right, there you go. Stop complaining. You're, you're connected now. Shush. Exactly. You're connected. What's... You're fine. Why are you still mad at me? What is wrong? What is wrong here? Let's puzzle this out together. Why is this building not connected? What do you, what have I done wrong? I mean, this this isn't built yet. These parts aren't built yet, but the gray parts, but this is all this is all built up. What? Is, what? What's why? What are you mad about? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, if I click the district, there's even a oh. Oh you motherfucker, I I just realized. I know what's wrong. Is that really? Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I have to put up guardrails, otherwise it's not a path. You don't want them falling off and breaking their neck, come on. Alright, fair enough. Guess I'll mark these as paths while I'm at it. I mean, there are, they do have children, you don't want the children just falling off. <laughs> Yeah, talk about you, Zulagen. <laughs> um, right, so. Alright, that solves that. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Like, yeah, you have to make paths even for the race platforms. Oh, wow, they're already working on the house. Wait, how are you doing that? Sir, how did you build a house on top of a house before there was platforms? I'm kind of impressed. How did he do that? There was no actual, like, vertical, vertical platforms to reach that, but he still managed to build a house. He just reached up, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, we have a second warehouse, which is already coming in useful. That's good. Um, okay. And if I want a third warehouse, I'll build up even more. I have plans. Because you see, I could build another staircase that goes even higher, right here. It will look weird, but it'll also look neat. Also, by doing that, I can also build a third layer of houses, you see. I presume, at least. I think I can build up higher, right? 
Can one build up and then up again? I, 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 I don't have the resources to test that at the moment, but I assume so. Because, yeah, just build a platform and then build stairs on the platform, right? Let's see. Does it let me build stairs on a platform? Eh, I don't know, actually. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, I did designate them as paths. Oh, that's why you designate them as paths. Because if they're paths, then... Hold on, wait. I'm going to check something here. Yeah, see? Haha. <laughs> I was right. Which also means you could probably... Oh, hell yeah. No, 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 don't, don't build this. I'm just experimenting. Uh, this, I don't know what the... I don't... Nope, don't, don't build that. I don't know if you're thinking about building, but don't do it. I'm just testing. How high can you go, then? Well, let's see. How high does this go? How high does the landscape go? The landscape goes to about there. It's pretty high up. It's probably could build pretty high, then. I do have to say, city builders are not always my type of thing, but it is rather satisfying once you've worked the same for a little bit that you have. Oh, it's like, oh, there it is. There, There's something I, that I, you know, there's a city. There's a, it was something here, but now there's actual, like, things going on. It's like, that's cool. I see the appeal. Even though if I don't play a lot of these, of this genre. I'm not good at a city planning. I'll never build a nice city. It'll always be a messy city. I mean, this is a pretty messy city, but it's still a city. <laughs> it's still fun. Oh yeah, the drought's about to happen. Let's see what happens with the drought. Hmm, how's the crops doing? Is there anybody working on the farm right now? No, there is. I'm glad they're harvesting right now. That means the drought's not going to kill a bunch of plants. Because we currently, we're finishing harvest season. So the drought's hitting right as we finish harvesting, meaning that nothing's going to get killed by it. Well, okay. This one poor crop of potatoes will die, but that's okay. Basically, we, we harvested the crops before the drought came. So that's good. <laughs> Wait, what? What do I hear snoring in the disconnected building? It's a ghost. We have four unemployed. Oh, that! I didn't realize that I could just look at this list on the left here to see where everybody's employed. Uh, we have four unemployed. Okay, well, that's fine. I'll employ one at the farmhouse. Obviously, if somebody's unemployed, we should have our... Oh, the drought has started. The music's changed. I guess I'll employ more at the district center. Why not? There we go. There, now everybody's employed. Is this drought music? Or is it just morning music? No, it, it, it sounds a little... Drought, a one day drought, that's not too bad. So what's it do? What's gonna happen? Wait. Oh, the water levels went down. <gasps> I bet we're not producing power, are we? Oh, we still are, actually. I was like, oh, the water is down, though. Look at the water. It's way down. So. Oddly enough, the power... No, th wait, the power output did drop. I think it was higher than 200 before. Now it's 180. So our power output dropped with the drought. And I'm assuming our crops are not going to do very well. Well, the nonetheless, they're, they're in the middle. <laughs> it's the middle of drought, and we're planting plants. All right, sure. I guess if it works. Uh-oh. 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 I thought that water level was going down. Oh, no. Oh, there. The water level... The water will is completely stopped. So our power is out now. Only one building was using it. But still, that's worth noting. The drought takes out your water wills. That means it takes out your power. Of course, you could use a windmill, too. Oh, and with that, yeah. Oh, well, there goes all the pla You guys should have waited on planting. I don't know what you guys are like. It's, it's the it's the drought day. Time to plant some crops. Oh yeah, look at this. What about the plant? What about the trees? It'll die in 11.8 days. Oh, so if a drought lasts for a certain amount of time, then these these trees will just die. But they won't die instantly. What about the crops? It'll die in 0.5 days. Oh, okay. So the crops. Uh oh. 
So, it looks like the crops, they don't last very long. The carrots can last two days while dried out. The wheat will die in one day, so this wheat will actually die before the drought ends. And it looks like the potatoes will just barely survive, because they last long enough to survive this. Okay. Oh, this water is still going down, isn't it? So, drought's pretty bad. Drought affects a lot of things. It'll kill our trees, it'll kill our crops, it'll stop our power. Uh, so if we have a long drought, that's uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be something that can kill the community actually pretty easily. It's only a day long drought, but what what it's one hell of a drought though. It's like everything's just dying, or immediately getting dried out. <laughs> Look how this one birch tree managed to hold on. I guess, it, I guess it's technically still on arable land. Barely. There's a little bit of grass around it. So I guess that means where the grass is patchy, that still counts as a living tile. That's good to know. That birch taught me something. Seems like most of our forest is doing okay, because the water... looks like the water stopped going down here. So when a drought happens, only the two lowest water tiles will have water. Looks like. And this whole river just... died. <laughs> What's this? Water source. Ground only. Must be built on ground. So the water sources dry up and only the lowest tiles get to keep water. I see. Oh, I say that. You know what? I take that back. <laughs> I guess the water level was still going down. It's just very slow about it. Like, it, it drains very slowly, so it's hard to tell. I guess the drought just keeps... I guess it just keeps going down. Everything is dead. Well, that's it's pretty dramatic, I gotta say. I guess this is also why it's important to build the dams and irrigate and stuff, because you might be able to sustain your water during a drought if you do that. I assume you can. Yeah, it just constantly goes down, I guess. At a very slow speed that's hard to discern. Yeah, it's going down. It's very hard to tell. But it is constantly going down. So yeah. this I guess that's why... I guess this is a sign of why this is a very post-apocalyptic world. We can make it regrow, but... It's, it's very sensitive, I guess you could say. You know, it's very easy for this just to... Uh, yeah. Also, I don't think we can harvest these trees or anything either. Or the, the seedlings, that is. I don't know if we can even harvest work kind of out of trees over here. So. We, we're going to lose our potatoes or wheat. Yeah, our wheat's going to die. It's dried out and died. Uh, rip wheat. Fortunately, it's a one-day drought. So it's like, it, this drought was just a beginner's drought to dip my toes into droughts. And to show that, yeah, they kind of suck. Even a day-long drought seemed to mess up a few things, but nothing too major. This is a cool mechanic, though. I like the drought system. It's, uh... I like the fact that it has a song, too. Like, the music actually shifted on the drought day. I really like the soundtrack. The soundtrack of this game really adds a lot to it, I feel. It's a very emotive soundtrack. Whoever composed the music, well well done, honestly. It has the same it has the same storytelling as 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 a, as a classical song sometimes does. You know, kind of that when music has the ability to tell a story through its like it shifting a, a shifting complex mood within the same song, kind of telling a tale of sorts. That's what this music does, and I like that. Not bad for an early access game, I must say. So when the drought wears off, how quickly do we get water back?
Drought has ended. Also, I noticed there's actually a forecast option. It says unknown. I wonder if there's a way to... There's probably a way to... Probably via science, there's probably a way to learn more about the weather and know when droughts are coming ahead of time. All right, I, I would appreciate you... Uh, so just because the drought's uh, just because the drought is in, it doesn't mean we're immediately gonna have the water restore. Oh, oh! I bet the water is flowing though from the source blocks again. Let's see. <gasps> there it goes. Sort of. <laughs> is this how water moves? It's like a gelatinous ooze kind of moving along. Well, until this water gets here, we're kind of shut down a little bit. So I have to wait for the water, but let's speed it up. I guess the ultimate goal of this game would be to spread the green to the entire map via irrigation, mining, damming. To basically restore the world. That's kind of a cool concept. I like it. All right, now we can get back to work. Some crops died, but huh, the wheat died. The potatoes kind of died. He's fixing it. So if you play on hard, droughts are going to be common, and I don't think I can handle that. But at this speed, I'm easy. I can definitely handle it. Like, there's, there's actually a button in the corner. It's a little beetle. I assume that's for bug reports. The only bug I've noticed is occasionally the game will hang up for just a little brief little bit. It's very rare, but occasionally it just like hangs up to load something. All right, we're back in business now. So while that was all going on, though, I actually I still built up science while that drought was going on, which is good. Uh, so I can actually build some. Let's build a let's build a leisure. Let's build a, let me build that little holiday idea I had. Well, yeah, why not? So those trees are going to grow. We need to grow more trees, though. We're actually kind of... We are kind of out of logs. Um, because... Well, <laughs> there's not enough trees. That being said, I think it's time that we perhaps consider... Um, my, taking those trees down, so... Here's our objective for the end of this Haller episode. I would like to end this by building the rooftop terrace. Sounds like a nice thing to have. So, once the rooftop terrace has managed to build, that that's where I will end off. To build the rooftop terrace, we'll need the well, we'll need logs. So, we'll also need access and a path. We'll just go out there for a nice little terrace time. Visitor six. Honestly, though, it probably would make more sense to build that somewhere central, but eh, it works. I'm curious what they'll do there too. Uh, let's see. Well, while that builds, let's also build. Well, is, this, is that grill working? Did we get the grill up yet? We did not get the grill up yet. That's a shame. We're just needing more logs. Let's get these logs. There's actually a path over here, so what I could do. Let's get a path built up here. Place the lumberjack flag right here. Yeah, actually, yeah, that sounds good. I presume these cannot be dried out and died. I assume, can we mine the pines that are dead? I'm not sure. Do 
What? Nothing to do in range. Yes, I know. Hold on. Uh, we want to mine all these trees. All these. And actually, yeah, can we can we mine these? They're dead, but they're still wood, right? I actually didn't bother to check if we could mine the dead trees, so let's see. If so, then we actually have a fair amount of wood here. All right. Now, I probably should also build a log pile. That would probably be helpful. Uh, 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 uh. Where's the log pile option? It's under here. There it is. No, lumber mill. Lumberjack flag. Now, I've gotten forgotten where you put those. Here's my problem. There it is. Here's my... It was under storage. Here's my issue with uh, a lot of uh, city building games. The menus. I tend to get lost in them a bit. Like, I tend to forget, like, where is the thing I need? What menu is that under? There we go. That tends to be my issue. I get a bit hung up on the menus trying to find what I need to do a certain thing. Because there tends to be a lot of menus in these games. Raise your hand if you're like me. So I don't feel alone. <laughs> do you also have trouble, like, keeping track of a lot of menus? I don't know. It's like I vaguely remember where things are, but I never know for sure. Oh, wow. A lot more houses. Are, like, I like how they're building the houses one one gap at a time. But anyways, all this housing should extend our uh, beaver population a great deal. So. You know, actually, I have a better idea than this terrace. That I, I have a better idea than this terrace I was going to build. Thinking about it. And they haven't built any of this yet, so I can just destroy these. Um... Uh, I have a better idea for the terrace. Like, I look at those buildings, I just had a thought. So, platforms count as roofs too, right? Because, I just had a thought. What if... I kind of wish they didn't stagger them, but that's fine. Um, oh, that, that would be kind of wicked looking, actually. I, I, my brain is thinking. As it does sometimes. <laughs> um, so if a rooftop terrace has to be built on a roof, which makes sense. Right? Yes, yes it does. So I kind of want to build that upwards and upwards for more compartment complexes, but I am curious if, is it actually possible to, That counts. Okay. I have the silliest idea. It would require demolishing that tree, probably, but... Um... I can actually build it here, too. I'm trying to think of the spatial requirements for my stupid idea. No, no. I was thinking about, like, maybe a layer of terraces using a very clever method, but I don't think it's actually possible that I think about it. Like, I'm thinking about it more and more. I'm like, mm, actually, that might not be possible. All right. Well, in that case, why don't I just build... See, they sleep here, so I'm trying to build near the apartments. I could technically build... Hmm. I 
Uh, I'll see. There it is. Um, so they take up three block spaces. All right. Oh, that would look okay. I I have an idea. It's gonna take a while to actually build it, but I have an idea. In fact, I might end the Haller before building this because it's, it's actually kind of complex. But um. It is a good idea, though. Yeah? Two more up here. Now that would be cool. <laughs> I mean, the the leisure being next to the apartments kind of makes sense because it says the the it says with the terraces that it's a place for beavers to rack, relax and socialize in the evening, and it can only accept six at a time. So technically, I should have multiple. But also, if they relax in the evening, that's before they go to bed, right? So, if they relax right right next to their apartments, then they'll relax and then go to bed, and it's not going to be a long walk, and that would make sense. Um. The question is, can this be constructed? I think it can. Let's see if I can figure out a proper. I, obviously, I can't build this right now, but I can build the I can build the plans for it right now. So let's let's experiment a bit. So these ones will obviously require platforms such as this. Let's reach those like that. The question is, of course, how do I build to that level? Now I think I have an idea on that note. I think what I can do. Yeah, there we go. That's just enough space. Also, what is this? Oh, yeah, that's right. This was something else. I don't need this anymore. Get out of here. If there weren't any uh, resources placed with the building plan yet, then it's not a... It, I don't lose anything for destroying it. For those wondering. Okay. So now I'm starting to get some good ideas here. So now if I do this... There we go. We have access. Build a path out to there. Right? I'm not done yet. Here comes the tricky part. I can't build a... Okay, you can't build a platform over stairs. I didn't think you could. That proves it, though. Alright, so... This is entirely functional. Oh yes, don't forget the paths. Very true. This is 100% functional. I can actually fly the camera through. This is completely accessible. Go through this, go through it around through there, and take the staircase of your choice, the level of your choice. Okay, well, I'm not gonna have, I don't have enough time to actually get this project underway, but given enough time, this can totally be built. Uh, so yeah, that's a, that's, that's, a, I guess I'll maybe come back to this and let that build at a later date. But yeah, that is, uh, completely functional. Would have been nice to have that finished by the end of the stream. But even if I fast forward this, this would take a long time. I'm not sure if you have the city player if you said this is 100% functional. It is, though. It completely works. <laughs> a 
Look, it's not my fault that the beavers had to spend tons of science to realize that you can build things above other things. <laughs> I do imagine people from the second floor have to go down one floor, then up two. <laughs> yeah, if you want to access the roof from the second floor, you must go down to the ground level, then you can go into the roof. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> uh, you're silly. Um, yeah, if I just let time advance, I believe it would be a... Oh yeah, look, they are cutting. Okay, so that answered my other question. Yes, you can cut down the dead trees. <laughs> Good. And so with, with some cleverly placed stairs, I could also get those trees, but... How is our... Our log production is not heavy, but that's because... We are also not, um... Hmm. I should get... Actually, wait. You know what? Log pile's perfectly placed, yeah. Come on, let's get some more lumberjacks in here. Let's get log production up with an extra couple flags. Or so. There we go. This'll 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 greatly increase the rate at which logs are picked up. That being said, I need to reassign some. There, that should put them in the lumberjack flakes. There we go. Okay, we should have greatly increased uh, log gathering at this point. How do I... Hmm. I, I do have a one problem, though. The lumber bill takes logs and turns into planks. I need both logs and planks. So how do I tell the lumber mill, hey, stop making planks after this point? Obviously, I can pause the lumber, lumber mill. I just did so. But I'm kind of wondering, like, how do I get it to control how many planks I get made? Also, I wonder what they're working on. I didn't really set priorities, so they can kind of work on whatever the fuck they want to right now. It looks like they're working on the platforms first. That's fair, I guess. I guess lumber mill can keep working. Currently, we have an equilibrium between logs and planks, so. They don't seem to be using the log pile you built. Are they not? Oh, you know, actually. That's on the edge of the district, I just realized. Yeah, they aren't using... No, they are using the log pile. It's just that the logs are in need. We're hungry for logs, so basically they're being immediately used. We have... We actually do... I think... Not quite. They haven't quite built the stairs to... Here, build that. Build those stairs, goddammit. it. <laughs> that makes that's literally all that's making it so that the upper level population stuff is functional. So let's get, let's get that stairwell built. Come on now. Wait on no materials. That's fair. Two more planks. Once that stairwell is built, our population can explode a fair bit because I'll gain access to one, two. Three, four, four houses. We have to build more platforms for the last house, but. Goodness me, come on, get that. There we go, finally. Let's also prioritize this, this, uh, this. It's hard to select them, though. And this. Okay, so basically we just, by building up the housing, basically we can have more beavers, and if we have more beavers, we can get more done, effectively.
Why is there just a box here? Carrot leftover. Leftover? Huh. Left just leftover? Okay. I'm not sure, not sure why it's just... Okay, there it is. <laughs> Somebody went to bed after boxing the carrots, but didn't actually bother to deliver it. Ohio go Zigimasu. I ret learned from the school and the obtaining of foot and bow with the layer cake plush. The layer cake plush. Oh, yes. As layer cakes, cakes do go plush like they do. <laughs> Yeah, I just realized, uh, hey Forrester dude, can you like, no you can't, you can't reach that far. Hmm. Oh, the trees are finally starting to grow, thank goodness for that. I think some beavers died of old age, that's fine. I want to prioritize the grill, I want to, I want to see the grill. They'll grill our potatoes, and that's probably a good thing. I don't know how long our food lasts. Hopefully, a while. We also have wheat, but I can't really do anything with it. Fortunately, wheat, if I know wheat, should just kind of exist. Does wheat really go bad? I think it just kind of dries out, and it's. I don't know. Nothing to do in range. Wait, who? Oh, you? Yeah, that's true. Go do St. Else then. I don't care. <laughs> There's no more trees there. I don't. I don't know. I could build another forester. I should probably build another forester. Hell of it. Actually, no. I don't think I'll bother. Well, hmm. Interesting. Those trees are outside of the district's range, so nobody's going after them. Despite the fact that these technically do reach them. Oh well. I guess that proves why I need another forester. <laughs> Let's, uh, hmm. Well, that's weird. Why is it when I put it over here it has less range, but if I put it here it has more range? Odd. So the facing direction also determines this range. That's very odd. Yeah, this is a pretty captivating game. I gotta hand it to it. I I would say that this is a game worth your time. Still in early access, so you might see more content if you wait a bit. But I would say that this is actually quite a good game. Oh wow, they're working on the upper buildings now. Oh, they've actually constructed quite a bit of the, uh... the whole walkway. They're getting there, man. We actually have a lot of, uh, beavers now, too. Because of the extra housing. I think I'm gonna- I think I'm done here. I think I'm done. I think we, we had a good look at this, though. And uh, I gotta say, it's pretty fun. You could just let this go for a while. I mean, the droughts could lead to f issues, but... What's this, icon? What's this icon? Hide water. Oh, okay. Why hide water? It's nice looking. But yeah, I... I Halo for an hour is difficult to do with games like this, but I feel like I gave this a nice fair shake. This is enjoyable. There's definitely a lot more I could produce, but I'm kind of content just building resources at this point, so I think it's a good time to stop. Oh my goodness! The log store is full, and we've never seen that before. That's really cool, actually. I'm glad it's full, that's actually a good sign. Uh, this this log store is pretty full, too. I guess it's because the foresting actually worked out for this uh, area, so we actually have a bunch of trees there now. So we could do more logging, and it worked out. We, there was an explosion of logging. Excellent. Uh oh. Drought incoming three days. Okay, so that's... If you're wondering what the space uh, spacing out of droughts were for... Um, well, 
for fast forwarding in easy mode. That's exactly the pace, I guess. Uh, but yeah, this is quite nice. I'm going to save here. Yep. If it's save title, I'd say. Thanks for playing Timber Run Early Access. Before you go, helps make the game better by sharing your feedback. I'm good, but actually I selected to go back to tile screens. So I'm not actually leaving yet. There we go. But yeah, um, I honestly think that if you guys are interested in city builders, this is a good one to pick up. I mean, it manages, it managed to get me kind of enthralled, and not just because of the cute furry beavers. Honestly, this is just a good game. It's, well, construction control c controls well. It just, it's got lovely music. I think the music makes a big difference for me, actually. Um, just have some nice tunes as you're chilling out to a game is always nice, especially a game like this. But yeah, I heavily recommend this game. I think this is a very worthy purchase, even in its early access state, and I would say that it would probably be even more so once it leaves early access. But it might go up in price. I don't know if it'll do that when it goes full release, but so maybe pick it up now. It's probably worth your time, regardless. So yeah, there's also other maps. It looks like you can also create a map, so you can create your own terrain setup to uh, build upon, which is also neat. Also, there's another faction you can unlock, which apparently works more heavily towards in industry and does not care about the environment, so they probably have different buildings and different uh, ways of doing things, so that, that also would probably add another layer to the game. Um, but yeah, there's a lot there's a lot to do here, and it's pretty interesting. I have a few quibbles about the science system, but eh, we have enough time, enough fast-forwarding, it's not a big deal, so, you know. But yeah, so, Timberborn, check it out if you're interested. I definitely think it's worth your time.